Zone three. Chicago. Can you speak to some of the economic characteristics of the shoe industry uh, that allowed the business to be profitable and, in your view, attractive? I didn't hear that. Did you hear that, John? He wanted you to comment on the uh, uh, merits of the shoe industry. Well, and I what, think uh, our feelings for the shoe industry are very clear from <laughs> what's been happening the last few years. We think it's a great business to be in as long as you're in with Frank Rooney and Jim Isler and Peter Lunder and Harold Alfond. Otherwise, it hasn't been too good. The, uh, we, uh, we have a couple of extraordinary uh, shoe operations, and, but they're not extraordinary because we get our leather from different steers or uh, anything of the sort. It's, uh, we have two companies, uh, really three now that Lowell's been brought into, but that have truly e extraordinary records. I think those same managements would have been enormous successes in, 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 in any business they'd gone into, but they have gone into the, they are in the shoe business, and the companies uh, earn ex ex unusual returns on equity, they earn unusual returns on sales, they've got terrific trade reputations, uh, and I think that to the extent we can find ways to expand in the shoe business while employing those managements, uh, we'll be very excited about doing so. Uh, it isn't because we think that the shoe industry is any cinch, you know, per se or anything of the sort, but, uh, but we've got a lot of talent uh, employed in the shoe business, and whenever we've got talent, we like to try and figure out a way to give them as big a domain as we can. And uh, it's not inconceivable that we would expand the shoe business uh, perhaps even significantly over time.